Hello, hello, Marsha Holland here, Glam Mama. How are you today? I'm just playing around today. I've already done my face and I found, let me tell you what I found. I found these old uh, shadow pencils. And so I thought I'm gonna try these again. I haven't tried them in so long. We're gonna do that today. Plus, I'm gonna use my new Duo Liner Glue st uh, Brush. And I might show you how I, I can do the other type of glue. I think I've got some Kiss glue somewhere here that we can play with too. Maybe. I don't know where it went. It was right here. Well, that's rude. I'll be right back. Well, it was right where I put it. <laughs> yeah, right here. So we'll put that aside and we'll put this aside, but we're going to do some pencil shadows. Something pharmacy doesn't have. Pharmacy's got some awesome pencils that I have used for shadows before. Yeah, they're very creamy and they work really well. But today we're going to use these and let's decide what we've got. I've got the white. I've got uh, a bronze, a gold what the proper names are these are from Ulta this one is from Ulta called an eye crayon little white lies and then this one is from Ulta is called one and done metallic eye stick and this one is called uh, Victorian gold it's very pretty so we'll try that this is another Ulta this one's called antique bronze pretty pretty and another Ulta. This one's called Metallic Quartz. That one's about to come apart. Uh-oh. What are you there? Get back down in there. Oh, I didn't know they... I didn't even know that they uh, twisted up and down. Okay, so let's play. I've already done my eyebrows and makeup and stuff. So let's just play with the shadows and the lashes. This is that... Uh, did I say it was? I've already forgot. Oh, Lordy. Already forgot. This one is Brazilian Quartz. <laughs> I hope my hubby behaves. He's in there right now behaving in the chair. And you guys know that he has Parkinson's and Lewy body disease, which is the real reason I don't do lives. But I post everything I do on my YouTube and I'll put the link in here. This is very, it's kind of, see, that's pretty. I forgot I had it. And we'll do this other one, just like it. And I might play with my lipstick too, because I've got it too orange. I need more of a mauve. Ooh, I like this. I don't know why. I forgot I had it, man. Listen, if you could see the stuff I've got, you would say, woman, you have a problem. Because <sighs> I do have a problem. I have a big problem. Makeup addiction. Let's see if we can get it more mauve looking, huh? Uh, what, can we, what can we do? What can we do? Let's try that one. <laughs> Little Miss Sparkle here. If you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. I'm checking out my husband. He probably wishes I'd leave him alone and let him fall. <laughs> it ain't happening. Okay. So now we've got a choice here of these two. I'm going to use this darker one. I might just use... I might not use all four. I don't know. We'll see. Oop, hang on. Little camera I've got in there wants to keep timing out, so I have to watch it. This is the bronzy or the gold color. We may need something uh, a little darker because this is not getting it. But this would be a pretty base coat. Coming up over the end of the brow, you guys know. I have a hooded eyes, and if you stay tuned, you just might see them disappear. We do a little camouflaging. 
yeah i'm gonna have to use something a little darker than this we'll go ahead and put this on since i did the other eye it's pretty though very pretty creamy too all right and this other one this is the my camera battery may be going out here this was the uh, antique bronze and I think this one is even lighter so these these all all pretty this is Victorian gold these would all make pretty base coats but look what else I found I found this glitter from let's see got it at Ulta Melissa Michelle glitter liquid liner it's a liquid liner so I might might play with that uh, but we definitely need some kind of dimension I don't have another uh, hang on I do have this liquid this is brand new uh, liquid here let's see if that will make a good dimension let's try it and see this is Saturday 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 this still may not be dark enough I'm thinking the, uh, a brown is what I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of tap it and see this is the new liquid it's darker, but it's not going to be dark enough, I don't think. I don't think. What do you think? Huh? You can certainly see it, can't you? Let's do the other side, but I might put a little bit, maybe my brow powder on it to make it a little darker. Because what I'm trying to do is create... i got to let that dry now because that's liquid trying to create an illusion with I'll work on some other stuff while this is drying I'm trying to create an illusion for my hooded eyes and stuff so uh, one of the best things you can do actually for hoods is wear lashes that does not come from me either that comes from Wayne Goss he is a famous makeup artist in Europe in uh, England I know you've heard of him everybody's heard of Wayne Goss yeah I like to watch him I haven't watched him in a long time though but I subscribe to his YouTube so I'll get notices I just don't take the time to watch him but I like his tips uh, I did put primer too on my eyes Now, this little uh, pencil here has got a smudger on the end. I really like that. Uh, another tip, I've, I've told you this a bunch. He says if you have hooded eyes, you need to open up your eyes. See how small my eyes look, really? So you want to come over here. When you do your little uh, highlight right here, you want to come on over a little bit more. And he says that opens up your eyes a little more. So, see? And we'll smear it out. Also, he said lining your uh, tear line with a white or a light color. That also helps. Not sure I'm going to do that. I am going to, however, I am going to put tight line my upper tear line. Uh, did I put my black in a special place so I'd know where it was? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's a dark gray. You saw my handful of uh, stuff, didn't you? If you didn't, here you look at there. I'm looking for the black. Where are you? You are waterproof, and I oh, I must have put it somewhere. It's not in here. <sighs> not good that's not good come on now I have a shorter one I can use 
used to sharpen it though. Yeah, I've got another one somewhere. Stuck it in a safe place where I'd know where it was, you know? One of those deals. But we can use this short one. I don't know what to do with it. <sighs> Everything needs cleaning around here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tight line. And to tight line, you're going to hold your eyelid up. And we're going to tight line that upper flesh tear line. It's so funny. I have never tight lined up until about a year or so ago because who wants to stick this in your eye? But if you're careful, you can do it. I, I have discovered that the flesh shows really bad when I do lashes. So if you tight line, it helps everything just blend in better. See? And if you're losing your lashes, you want a tight line too. So we're going to come along here and like so. Okay. Be careful. All right. Let's do a little mascara. I think I might go easy on all the uh, eyeliner and stuff on the bottom. Because these lashes are pretty big lashes. So, let's just see what happens if I just put a little mascara here. Because I, I might bring... I hadn't decided if I'm going to do more eyeshadow. So, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to do the liner first this time before on the upper before I do mascara. And when I do mascara, I only do the under. I just got it everywhere. I can't uh, continue until I get it all over my nose and stuff. So... Hang with me, guys. Hang with me. And I just smeared it. And I stuck my finger in my eye. Okay. Okay. I think maybe I I don't know if I should put anything else there. What do you think? Let's see what we got. All I have to do is grab something. Mmm. This has got some pretty colors in it, see? Do can't read it, so let's see here. I'm gonna use the same brush I used when I put my um, primer on. Let's see what it does. Could go without anything else. Now this is over that liquid that I did. It's kind of purpley. Gently taking the edge of that brush and coming over the tear, the uh, crease. And then we're gonna come towards the brow. You know, and you just need to play. You see, you just need to play. Let's get a, a little brush to kind of smooth that. Now, remember, this is, I put the liquid over here, but it wasn't quite dark enough for me, so we're helping it out a little bit. And also, whatever you put here, bring it down. 
to what I do. Okay. Woo! I always need to practice more, work more on my blending techniques because sometimes I, after I get finished with stuff, I look and I think, oh my gosh, where were your eyeballs? I can tell you one thing, my eyes are terrible. So I'm coming up on the bone with it, trying to help my hooded eye. Hang on, sorry. Battery must be getting weak. Now this is gonna look a whole lot better once I do the liner and the lashes. You will see. All right, this was my awkward side. I tell you, I'm right-handed and this is my left eye. So this one is always, they end up having to hold the brush a little different. And if I get both my eyes looking the same, <laughs> it's a miracle. Gently come on over. I'm using the bare side so I don't bring too much up. That's what I mean by the dimension color. When I say dimension color, kind of blending that together. See what I mean? See what I mean, jelly bean? Okay, I believe I'm going to stop. Okay, that was from the Wonderlust palette. All right, now it's time for the lashes. So I'm going to use one eye. I'll use this. And you know what? This time I'm going to try my best to stay real thin. I cannot always stay thin. I didn't use, yes I did, okay, never mind. I always make it too thick. Well, let's see if I can do thin. So we're just gonna barely go close to my lash. I hate it when I get it on my lashes. Ugh. But let me tell you, if you do get it on your lashes, you want to be sure that you use a good oil base. This is by phase. Use a good oil base. A little bit. Wait, there's no room in here, boy. This room is torn up. Now, I'm going to put this kiss glue. I'm going to use it. I've done this a lot, but I'm going to use, instead of putting it on the lash, I'm going to use it like an eyeliner. If I can get it done. Ooh. So I got it on my lash over there. The thing is, you don't want to get this in your eye. Whatever you do, don't do that. And let's see here. See if I can get that off before it dries. Of course, I can't find my brush. What the heck did I do with my brush? <sighs> but if you do get it on there, don't panic. And you don't want to be doing a lot of pulling. Be gentle because they are your lashes. Now, it says put two coats on. This stuff does right here. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here at the house. So I'm just going to use the one coat. And this is what I was talking about. I do notice this doesn't seem to be running. You've heard me complain about li uh, liquid eyeliner running, bleeding. That's one thing about this. Uh, oh, shoot. I swear. It's one thing about this duo liner glue is it doesn't seem to uh, 
bleed because see it would bleed right in here i don't know if that's going to hold or not let's put a little more on the inner corner a little dab will do ya oh shoot see i went big when you go thin you can always go bigger can't go smaller so be careful all right this eye this is how you tell which lash is which this is this eye I've already trimmed these and I also cleaned them with the five phase. I use a tool. A lot of girls use their fingers. You can do it either way. I put the tool, the little thing head right some right in the middle. Okay. Look down in a mirror. And set her down. I usually give it a little wiggle. Now, I have no idea if this is really the same thing as, as this, but let me tell you, I have better luck putting the glue directly on my lid versus putting it on the lash. And then I like to go back in and also I'll, I'll tell you what you can do at the top if you've made a mistake. Let me blend this in a little. You notice I did not put liner on. Okay, I didn't put liner on there. So if anything is showing, which I don't, nothing, I don't see it because my eyeballs are so bad. I don't see anything showing. You can position your lash. Okay. Now I like the flare. You may be thinking, well, Marsha, that is just way too big. You just got too much. You need to trim them. Well, I've already trimmed them, but I like the, I don't know what, butterfly flare, whatever. All right, let's put this other one on before my glue dries too much. I'll show you a little trick if you need to touch up the top. You know what I was gonna do? Oh, I can still do it. I'm gonna put this uh, rose-colored look down in your mirror. Give it a wiggle. Make sure everything is touching the glue. Give it a little push. Come back in here. Um, this kind of helps it look like it's blended a little more. Give me a little more tie lining here. I could probably, you know, come over more with the. I like that. Okay, the, your little trick. Let me show. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let me do this right quick. This is something I found I had too. I didn't even know I had it. It's a little sparkle eyeliner. So we'll put it on top. Kind of on the inside if I can do it. Without getting it on those lashes. Go right above it. I don't know where I got this stuff. No telling. Ulta, probably. Yeah, it's so close to the color that I used, but that's okay. Like I said, this is my awkward side. Look at these lashes. They came from CVS. I bet that would be pretty in the corner. Let's try that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> it 
it's like coloring in a color book, guys. Hmm. Color in a coloring book. I know. We can do it a little more. Right in here. This might be drying up on me, too. I still don't think I got a mauve lips color looking at myself. I like this stuff though. I remember it being wetter. Let's see what this is. I already told you. Melissa Michelle, I forgot. Yeah, it came from Ulta. Uh all right. Let's do the lip color. The lashes I use today are these. They're from Kiss. I know that's backwards. Uh, Kiss, and it is called... Came from CVS. They have curls. They're called Luxtensions Collection. Yeah. Extension look. I thought they were pretty. I bought those when I found the uh, liner glue yeah I'll get it right in a minute I'll get it right in a minute what can we do I don't want to do lip liner maybe I could just do a simple lip gloss let's see what this looks like Getting closer. The other one was had some orange on there, so it didn't look good. Alrighty then. I'm done. Look at that. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, check my website, www.marshaholland.com. Today I used these lip... I mean, these uh, uh, pencils that I found that I already had. Yes, I found these at Ulta one day, but they're so close to the same color. I had to use a shadow for this dimension color here. But, you know, that's what, have fun with it. Have fun with it, guys. This is Marsha Holland, Glam Memo. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Talk to you later. Love you.